Thank you for watching this video. This video is intended to be a helpful guide in both finding and identifying the many lizard species that live in Utah. Before I begin with the lizards, I need to give a huge shout out to Rai Jones who provided the majority of the amazing photography and range maps found in this video. Rai has put some amazing effort into providing detailed information on the reptile and amphibian species of Utah and helped make this video possible. Please make sure to check out his website, reptilesofutah.com, as well as his YouTube channel, Rai20Jones. Both are linked in the description below. This list will include all of the lizard species in Utah using pictures, videos, and range maps. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I would love to help you find the answer. The southern desert horn lizard is a subspecies and lives just in southern Utah. The best way to distinguish this lizard from the other desert horned lizard is primarily by the range that it lives in, and also it tends to have more of a reddish color. The western fence lizard, also known as the great basin fence lizard, has two appearances. Males are black, and females are more of a silvery color that you would typically see in other lizards. Sagebrush lizards are extremely common, and the most commonly seen lizard on this list. They live in all of the state of Utah. Side blotch lizards are also very common, and they actually have three different subspecies within the state. This is another lizard that you can find everywhere in the state. The western skink, also known as the Great Basin skink, is actually a lot more common than many people may think but due to their seclusive nature, they can be tricky to find. There are several types of whiptail species and subspecies in the state. Whiptails are extremely fast and very hard to catch. The plateau tiger whiptail resembles the great basin whiptail very closely. The range is the easiest way to identify and separate these two different species. 
Of the whiptail species, the plateau striped whiptail is the easiest to identify and separate from the others because it is much smaller and has a more sleek appearance. If there is ever any question in identifying a lesser earless lizard, take a look at its head and you will see that it does not have the ear holes that other lizards have. The red on this map represents the possible range of the lesser earless lizard. Chukwallas are very big lizards and will often be found in the cracks and crevices of rocks. If you try to pull one out, it'll inflate itself so that you can't pull it out of the crevice. The desert night lizard is often found under dead desert plants such as Joshua trees and yucca plants. The Utah night lizard has a distinct range apart from the desert night lizard. And of course we have the famous Gila monster, the only venomous lizard in the state, and one of only two venomous lizards in the entire world. If you paid close attention, you may have noticed some patterns in the range maps. Let's take a closer look at the geographical regions of Utah. We have the Great Basin, the Rocky Mountains, and the Colorado Plateau, and a tiny piece of the Mojave Desert. Understanding these regions is extremely helpful in understanding the range maps of these species. You'll notice that most of the species will inhabit an area specific to one of the geographical regions or deserts. In the southwest corner of the state, we have a junction of three separate deserts, the Great Basin, the Colorado Plateau, and the Mojave. For this reason, there are so many species found in this corner of the state. Many of these species have only adapted to live in the Mojave Desert, which is why they can't be found anywhere else in the state. This video is just part of a series that I am creating on the species of wildlife in Utah. Please make sure to check out the other videos if you enjoyed this one. And of course the best way to help out my channel is to subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.